How to resolve the Your PC or Mobile Device Doesn't Support Miracast Error In this video, we will show you what to do if Miracast fails to connect to Windows 10. Let's take a look at two ways to solve the problem. Number 1. Manually, using our step-by-step -step instructions. Number 2. Automatically, using our free software, which will help you to solve the problem in few clicks. Let's start with the option 2. It's the fastest way. Please download the software from the link in the description. OSLogix developers have created a free program Troubleshooter. Troubleshooter will automatically fix more than 200 regular errors in Windows 10. Slow computer, random reboot, reinstall Discord, and much more. Just type what you need to fix in the search box and follow the instructions. Troubleshooter does not contain any malicious files. You do not need to install it on your PC. Just run it from the storage place when you need it. In the program, you will find everything to make your PC work better. Troubleshooter is absolutely free. Launch the troubleshooter. Press the button Apply Fix. In the pop-up window, click Fix. Here we go! Restart your PC and try to connect Miracast. How to fix the issue manually. On the OSLogix channel, we help Windows 10 users to fix system bugs. We create software for you to get the most enjoyable experience from your PC. Subscribe to OSLogix and write about the difficulties of your PC in comments. We will help you. Solution 1. Check if your device is Miracast compatible. To test the graphics drivers, open the Run dialog box by pressing the Windows logo key plus R on your keyboard. Type DXDiag in the text box and click OK or press Enter on your keyboard. On the DirectX window, click on the button that says Save All Information. Select a folder to save the text file. Click OK. Press the Windows logo key plus Q. Open dxdiag.txt. In the dxdiag document, you'll see your system information. Miracast should say Available with HDCP. If not, the connection won't work on your device. After you've seen that your graphics drivers can support Miracast, the next thing to do is check the compatibility of your network adapter. Here's how. Type PowerShell in Cortana. Right-click PowerShell and select Run as Administrator. In the video description, copy and paste the command get-netadapter, select name, NDIS version. Press Enter. The NDIS version should be above 6.30 for your PC to support Miracast. If it is under, you should try updating your wireless network adapter. To do so, open the Run dialog, Windows key plus R, and type devmgmt.msc. Locate your network adapter, right-click on it, and select Update Driver. You will need a wireless display adapter if your PC does not support Miracast. You should opt for Microsoft's wireless display adapter. It is a good choice for Windows devices. Solution 2. See that Wi-Fi is enabled on both devices. If you have confirmed that your devices actually support Miracast, but you still get the error message, Check if both devices have Wi-Fi enabled. Solution 3. Check if wireless mode selection is set to auto. Right-click on the Windows 10 Start button. Select Device Manager. Go to the Network Adapters drop-down and expand it. Right-click on your wireless network adapter and select Properties. Click on the Advanced tab. Under the Property list, select Wireless Mode Selection. Click on the Value drop-down menu and select Auto. Click the OK button. Restart your computer. Solution 4. Enable Intel Integrated Graphics. Go to your BIOS settings and enable Intel Integrated Graphics. The steps for this depend on your motherboard. Know your device model and search online to find out the required steps. Solution 5. Reinstall the Wireless Network Adapter Driver. Open the Run dialog by pressing the Windows logo key plus R on your keyboard. Type devmgmt.msc in the text box and click OK to open Device Manager. Expand Network Adapters. Right-click on your wireless network adapter and select 
Uninstall device from the menu. In the Uninstall device window, click the Uninstall button. Restart your computer. Windows will reinstall the driver automatically. Solution 6. Disable third-party VPN solutions. If you have third-party VPN software on your PC, such as Cisco AnyConnect, Wi-Fi Direct, the basic technology behind Miracast, will be enabled as Split Tunnel Security Vulnerability. This compels your system to disable the functionality. To fix it, disable any such third-party software and restart your PC. Do you need to fix other PC issues? Let us know in the comments below and we might feature the solution in our next video. Video was created by OzLogix Labs, the leading developer of Windows optimization software.